Okay guys, how's it going? Righto, we have a rare beast sitting here. As you can see, it's the Aprilia 2 Reg 660. Um, it's a 22 model. Now, Stephen, one of the crew members, has brought it over here and we're going to get to do a bit of a test ride. First, what we'll do is just have a look at all the extra bits and pieces that he's got on it. He's obviously got this second hand. Find out how much of a bargain this is. So far, just hopping on it, it's pretty bloody good. Righto, let's get into it. And also, before uh, we take it out for the test ride, we're going to, I've got the DR650 sitting there, and Kent's come over, and he's got the uh, KDM690. Already, we're tippy toes on that one. This one, flat foot for me, easy, exactly the same as the, um, the DR650, but we'll line them up together, just so you guys can get a bit of a feel. A feel? Not a feel a look at how the size wise whatever shut up right oh, no, here he is this is the man this is steven how long you had it uh three weeks three weeks three bloody weeks. crazy that's it right so that's what did you, you how much you got it second hand yes what, what'd you pay for it uh with the road with you which i do myself 17. Seventeen thousand dollars. So it's advertised at 16.3 yep so i had to do the road and what have you it was one of the reasons it was cheaper so that plus the duty yeah, seven hundred bucks near enough. So, yeah, and there would have been some labour involved with, as we'll talk about the pipe and stuff like that. So that wasn't just a regular take it in. Yeah, correct. So for Victorian roadworthies, you have to have the stock exhaust system. So right. once you take it in, they cite that the roadworthy guy checks it, make sure it is the original. They take photos for Vic Roads, and yep. then you can immediately take it, swap it back out. Yeah, even in front of them. The dealer will even do it. Yeah. <laughs> but for <laughs> Victoria, anywhere else you wouldn't have had to do that. So. Oh, really? Yeah, correct. All right, so this is what, it's so, so that's not the stock? Nope, this is an entire uh, full system replacement. So yep. there's no cat in the front. So uh, it's a HP uh, course brand. Yeah. I'm not that familiar with it, but certainly sounds the part. Cool, what else? We've got crash bars. So we've got the crash bars. We've got the bash plate. Yep. Uh, it, it did have a different screen, but I put the original one back on, so it came right. with all the original bits and pieces. The guys put bark busters on it. Yep. Uh, slightly trick shorty levers. Oh, the short, yeah. Because he he actually dropped it, didn't he? And he yes, he, he, he dropped it. One. So they come with just a plastic guard, which yeah. apparently just bends out the way, and he curled the end of the of the lever that was there. So he's replaced that, um, and then this short rack. Rack. Yeah, it's just a, a very short rack, which I can't see it. But on this edge, it has a has a lip to it, which I flattened out because if you want to put a bag across there, I wanted it to be oh, flat. Oh, I can I can see where you've yeah, done so it. So I just yeah. sort of bashed it down a bit. Yeah. Cool. So if I had bought the bike without those, I probably would have got a different rack, probably a B and B system, and the same with the with the bash plate. with the bash plate. Yeah, because you were saying that you found you did a bit of a trip on it. Um, and as you can see, this guy, or the, the bash plate here, on the B&B it comes up higher. So what you're finding is there's a lot of shit getting woofed up yes. into there. So on the cheap cheap eBay or whatever, I'm getting a little extender, yep. a plastic extender that'll go on that and just lengthen that a bit. So that should minimize it while, while I've got this. Obviously if you change to a high fender kit, that would be a completely different story. But. Yeah, and you've also just, you just tested that on the ride here, right here, yep. So on that's the highway, a cheap twenty dollar bloody. Yep, <laughs> AliExpress or whatever. And, you, and, it, and it works. Yeah, yeah, it worked fine. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I was worried because it's a bit flimsy, but it held and Does it the worked job. and did the job. So. But like you said, having that on, if you're doing you know the off roady stuff, it's a little bit yeah, too you tall. You can take it off. It's very easy to unclip it and just yep. take it back off, which we might do when you do your test. But yeah. yeah and the other thing you said is like it's a twenty-three thousand dollar bike, brand new. This bike. thing's only done what four thousand? When I bought it, it had four and a half thousand k's on the clock. Yeah, right. So right. Stephen was saying twenty-three thousand dollar bike, and it doesn't come with that lower chain guard, but he's obviously put one on, which is pretty bloody crazy for an off-road bike, eh? Right. So one thing that I want to know is obviously this has got traction control, it's got yes. ABS, yes. it's got all the modes, buddy crap on it. So you can remove everything. Uh, you can remove it's the ABS except, except for the front. front. That's yeah. and that's that's fine. So you can put on it's minimal on the front. 
Yeah. So it's got but you can remove yep. all the traction control yep. on the fly. So when I'm riding along and I pull up, I have a, I turn the bike off, I have a cigarette, and then I jump back on it and start it up. It so remembers exactly where you left it. Hey, crazy! Exactly. And where you, you can left change it. all the modes on all the on the fly. Yes. Why? Yep. And if you, even if you've got cruise control on, um, and then you decide to change the modes and things, yep. you can do that. Oh really? Whereas some of the others you have to turn that off turn first. That off. And, oh yeah. right, yeah. So yeah, it's got bloody cruise control. Brilliant. Which you would have Didn't think I needed it, up. but on the way up from yeah. Melbourne to here it's like, oh brilliant. Right. Yeah. Cool, all right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna line the bikes up. But we've lined them up, but I think it's very optical. This bike looks way bigger than all of these. And it's the KTM is actually the tallest, but it looks the bloody lowest. Um, yeah. Go around a little bit for you guys. I don't know whether this is, uh, whoa, dog, shit. Uh, useful or not. Sorry about the background noise, this is my backyard. There you go, boom. All right, let's do the maneuverability test on this one. All good? Yep, I think so. Give it a right boom. Right, hey guys, let's try a leg over. I've already done this, and it's surprisingly how much this feels like home. That's exactly how I am on, sorry. This feels like home. This is exactly how, on Max the DR650, how I feel on it. Like I can foot flat, foot flat, flat foot. Whereas on the 690, I'm, I'm tippy toe like that. Cool, it feels, you know, that doesn't feel wieldly or anything. We've got a increase here, or a, a rise, so let's just see if I can manhandle. This around. No problem. It looks heavier than what it actually is. Because yeah. what weight is it? Like 180? 204. 204 yeah, it's fueled up? Kilo. Yep. Well, 18 litres? 18 litres, 3 yeah. reserve. So yeah. 15 normal. Yeah. That's, you know, there's a lot of bikes you couldn't, you know, get down to that, to that size. <laughs> to be fair, it's half a tank. Hey? <laughs> to be fair, it's only got half a tank in it. Yeah, right. <laughs> there you go. Right, eh? We'll see you on the trail. Right, hey guys, so we've swapped over bikes. We're here on the, uh, we're in Shacklands. We've got it in uh, off-road mode. Let's, uh, let's do it. Hey. Oh. oh, it's very, um, it's very gentlemanly like. That's interesting. Get over this. Yeah, it's not twitchy. Oh, yeah, yeah. So it's going to have some grunt. <laughs> That's just a twitch, yeah. But just going to take it easy around here. There's a farm down the bottom, and I just don't. Oh, I feel. Oh, because I'm on someone else's bike, I'm taking. Oh, I feel. Feel a bit, uh, you know, sketchy. I don't, because I don't know the bike, so I don't want to go too hard on the corner. The guys will be way back. It's pretty dusty out here. Um, I think it's like it's supposed to be 34 today, so she's pretty hot. I'm already bloody sweating just doing the videoing in the backyard. So that TFT screen looks pretty good. You can read that, no bloody worries. Sounds good. It feels good. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm just thinking about the uh, ergonomics of it. I reckon it's pretty close to the DR, although I might feel like I'm, I've got lowered pegs on mine, so I might be a little bit more crunched up. I'm not sure. So what's that? That's first. Yep, yeah, that's first. Yeah. 
so it's got slight contract, uh, traction control on at the moment oh yeah wow shit yeah yeah it has that instant whereas with max um yeah it's old school there's a, there is a little delay in the power delivery let's make sure these guys know we're going this way because we're heading towards the uh the shack so that uh stephen can pick up the um geo stash or geo spot sorry it's changed now boom Yeah, got that instant power. As soon as you flick it, she goes. Whereas with Max, I've learnt, you know, the, that little slight delay that you get. And Stephen was saying that he's got the preload wound up, so it does feel a little stiff. Ah, oh, yeah, I can feel that bloody traction control kicking in there. Yeah, shit, this thing's got bloody... Uh, Power and talk to bloody go, eh? Down a gear. So let's just. What am I in? How do I know what I'm in? What? Oh, so that was second. So tractor factor. I don't think you're going to have a problem from that point. But this is the problem. Oh, problem for me because I'm a bit of a weirdo. Um. <coughs> it was the same when I was on the T700. Um, I miss the agriculturalness, um, just the rawness of like, you know, Max, my DR650. These are very, everything is just so smooth. Um, I, don't, I, I don't know whether I'd get used to that. But it is, yeah, I, I like that about Max, that he's, he's just raw. All right, this is a section where we're gonna give it a bit more of a test out. Oh yeah, so that screen does when you get in, does get in the way, that's all right. We can work with it. It's got good handling. That back wheel just slipping out, and just oh, you, can, you can feel the handlingness, the suspension on it. Nice. Oh, rickety rackety bloody track this one. I'm, I'm being fucking total concentration like I just zip up this in uh, on max without a care but it's just like oh I don't want to drop this bike so I'm just in first on that yep -ah. fuck yeah oh yeah this oh, I could see in the gnarlier stuff this would really help you out compared to what Max Max would be. Cool, they've all made it. That's nothing hard, don't get me wrong. This does not feel heavy. It doesn't feel um, you know, unwieldy or anything like that. Yeah, you know, once if you know this was my bike, I'd, I'd acclimatise to this and I'd be throwing it around, I reckon. So we're going to find a place to pull up because this is uh, close to where the shack is. We'll just walk down to it. Rightio, guys. So we've done the shack. Um, now I'm going to get uh, Stephen to just jump in front for a bit, but then I've got to lead him to another spot, and then I'm going to get behind so you can get a bit of a behind the close-up shot of. Uh, the two rag in action. There we go. Bit of two rag action there.
Yeah, you can certainly tell the difference between the two. Like Max, like just suspension wise. Um, clearly the Turag shits all over Max from that point. But this is, I love that raw, I just love this raw feeling. That's what I love. But anyway, shut up. I'll, we'll bloody see when we get to, to the really cool track. Be a racer. <laughs> right, hey guys, so now I've told bloody Stephen to take it easy so I can keep up and get some shots. But this is a nice flowy uh, track. up and out of his bloody uh, out of his dirt there Got hit by a tree. <laughs> it got too close. Swapping over again just to get a bit of highway uh, feel for the Durag. Yeah, so I reckon, yeah, I'm actually more squashed up on this one, but that's, I think, because I've got. Uh, Feel the heat on the side, both sides. There's a lot of heat coming off, off there. So it's not, it's not like a fucking. I've just been on a bloody higher busser, so <laughs> my expectations might be a bit high. It's got plenty of fucking power though, but it's not crazy power. Be interesting. Uh, can't, it's been a long time since I've been on the T700. I felt like the T700 might have had a bit more, but I couldn't say for certain. So we're just in fourth, fifth, and then I got sixth. Holy shit! Yeah. So when you're doing the big mile munching, you would eat it up on this thing. And this is where these bikes just, you know, shit all over the, uh, you yeah, know, obviously a DR650. <laughs> I'm comparing it, obviously because I ride a DR650, so I'm comparing it to that, because that's what I ride, but they're not really the same fucking thing. Right, hey, we'll see you back at uh, HQ. Jeez, guys, I thought I should have bloody just stood up on it. This is so much like the T700 when you stand up on it, so easy. Man, you could just ride like this fucking forever. 
with the DR, I've got it, you know, it's a little bit more of a struggle to kind of like hold that up, especially when you're traveling faster. Right, hey guys, so we we're just having a bit of a chat and I was asking whether he felt like there was a bit more in Max, but it was, he was, he was enjoying, you were, I'll say you were enjoying the agriculture field, yes, but correct. you're used to it. You've, With you've my DRZ. DRZ yeah. so yeah, <laughs> it's nothing new to him. Um, so we just, you can get a lowering thing. So on Max it's lowered and I have the um, bar rises. So that's why I felt a little bit more crunch. It's still comfortable. I like that wide part. I, I did that moving backwards. Standing up like the T700. I mentioned about the T700 maybe being more power and you just explained that. Yeah. That they have the different more. power. Different, they bring their power in at different points. So that makes so, sense to what yeah. I was saying. This, that is, I did this is an Italian rev stallion, so you've sort of got to keep if, the revs. Higher, but, yeah. that's, that's but it's got it. it's got that low torque that it's not going to conk out in the low in no. the low gears at all. That was no. really cool. Yeah, um, yeah, oh, brilliant, love it, excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, cool. Righto, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. Remember, keep on riding, and if you ain't riding, keep on keeping on.